Hey y'all, it's KJM. And I did tree pose for you guys earlier this week, uh, fully in my workout gear. Um, you know, with my flexi rides and my hair bonnet, whatever. Wasn't really feeling sexy. So excited that I can now do it on the stronger side of my body, full tree pose. I did not work out today, so I don't know how my body is gonna react to it. But I had my onesie on earlier and I was trying to do tree pose in it and it's actually pretty slippery and I'm not trying to hurt myself. So now I'm just in my Spanx and like a tank top and I'm gonna try to do this thing because like I'm so excited that I'm 11 months into my yoga journey and well almost 11 months, February 10th will be 11 months. And I'm so excited that I am getting to a place where I'm doing positions I could have like fully that I dreamt of back in March. Yoga is a very slow and patient process, but we breathe through it and we, we do the best we can. So I have not warmed up or done anything today, so I'm gonna, I hope my body will allow me to do this tree pose for just like a few seconds, right? So generally how they get you started in the warm up is you're balancing on one leg. And shout out to people who just started yoga and are doing this. I'm so proud of you. Shout out to people who have been doing it forever. I'm super proud of you. Hold on. Gonna hop and see if I can get the full body in there. This is what's hard about filming yourself. Isn't this freaking cool? And it seems like it would be so easy to do, right? But it's not. Balancing on one leg is actually more difficult than you think. And then twisting and breathing and extending. These things, I mean, they don't look that hard to you at home because you're not doing it unless you grew up being a dancer or a gymnast but they're freaking hard it's taken me this long to be able to do full tree pose on the right side of my body my strong side my left side is almost there like i can do it like at a medium like right below the knee Woo! right below the knee i can do that um but i showed you guys where i started where i started from is months of doing this then this and you never want to put pressure on the knee this is what uh, my beach body yoga instructors always say so getting the full pose up there and balancing on that one leg I mean y'all don't think it's a big deal but it is and then like you know look at this look at this I can also do this I can do this I mean namaste I am so freaking grateful for this journey and so for anyone who's trying to get fit my recommendation is find a program that's good for you. Not everybody is a runner. Not everybody's meant to do yoga, but I will tell you this. I tried yoga nine times in the last decade, quit it, 10 time was the charm. Some of us, it just takes a while and you have to be in that place where you're ready. Um, you know, some people are going to be normal strength trainers where they lift weights. I used to do that too, like when I lived in Richmond. Um, I still like running, but the the drive I get from yoga, even on my bad days where I'm like wobbling all over the mat, the drive I get from that, I don't get from anything else like that. And the whole point is, um, like one of the four yoga instructors that I have on the Beach Body On Demand three week retreat, and I'm not getting any money from Beach Body. I wish I knew Beach Body like that, but I don't, right? But I'm still gonna shout them out because I got another friend who just started the program and she loves it. You know what I mean? Um, she really loves it. So one of the things I always learn from them is that there's no yoga Olympics. So you're slowly building that strength gradually. And I'm like, it's almost a year and I can't turn myself into a pretzel like those chicks on Instagram or some of those guys on Instagram. The whole point is a lot of those people have been practicing for a really long time. They may have been gymnasts, they may have been dancers, or they're normal human beings that may have been practicing yoga 10, 15, 20 years. Most yoga instructors have been practicing for like at least over 10 years. And so you can't judge it from them. So all you can do is judge the person that you were yesterday with the person that you are today. And understand that every day you're not gonna be the same on the mat. You're just not gonna be. So some days there's gonna be great days and your body's gonna form and you'll get into your goddess pose and you'll be like, woo, 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 woo. Life is great. Then other days you're gonna be wobbling, you know, like you, in an old school juvenile, uh, you know, uh, music video. Not back that ass up. It's something that has others, okay? Like she get it from her mama, okay? Um, 
So you're gonna feel that way, like, cause some days I feel like a failure, some days I feel great. But like Elise from Beachbody says, there's no yoga Olympics. So all you gotta do is like, try to be a better you than you were the day before, or be a better you just in that moment that you hit the mat or you're doing whatever workout that you wanted to do. So do remember, if you can consult your physician, if you can get a personal trainer and find out what works for you, but do not try to contort, do not try to make yourself into something that you're not meant to be. Like some things with yoga, if somebody told me I'd be down with being a yogi, I'd be like, if they told me even two years ago, I'd be like, F that. Like, I don't have that yoga body, yoga stinks, it's really hard, I don't quit it, you know what I mean? It's a mess. So if someone told me I would be here, Still with my double D's and my booty doing yoga, I'd be like, it's not going to happen. But it can. You just have to figure out what time in life, where you are in life, and when you're ready to receive a message. And yoga, unlike a lot of other uh, physical fitness, is a practice. It is a mind, body, and soul practice. So like I said, I've tried to get deeper into meditation and stuff like that. Um, over the last couple months as well to work on the mental portion so that I'm very present on my mat. So if you're trying to get fit, realize that normal fitness routines of going to the gym and stuff like that, it may be good for some people. You may be a person that you need to take classes. That may be good for you. But find out what fits your personality and what you can slowly get committed to. You may be a kickboxer. You may not be a yogi. Um, you may be a runner and just didn't even realize it and really thoroughly enjoy running. Um, as a lot of us are maturing, we're realizing we have to be very kind to our knees and our joints. We have to really make sure that we are giving our bodies the love that it needs. We have to really make sure that we're not overextending and using certain muscles too much. I mean, it's a lot of shit you gotta remember as you're maturing so that you don't hurt yourself. And like I said, I still use yoga blocks for a lot of positions. Um, and some days I don't need my blocks for certain positions and some days my body is telling me that I'm going to need it. I mean, it is what it is. I just want to let y'all know that black women do do yoga. This is Black History Month. This is the eighth day of Black History Month. I am KJ. I'm about to run some errands. And I'm going to see if I could do that warrior three pose again. But I don't know if y'all will be able to see me. So I struggle with crescent pose, right? It's that front knee. And then warrior three, hopefully I won't... And then you take flight, Ooh. then you take flight, Ooh. hold on. So this is what my blocks would do for me, right? And then I'm gonna hold this position. You know what it is? I am not looking. I wanna show you guys that I messed up too. Woo! So yeah, I haven't warmed up today. But I mean, that's the thing, you stumble, shit happens, you get back up. Matter of fact, sometimes I'd be in like my six inch heels, Walking through the city, you know, just getting off the subway, which I would not recommend, you know, wearing heels up on there. And I'm doing my two to three mile city block walks. And sometimes I stumble on my heels, but I catch myself. Because a big thing about yoga is to be able, you will stumble and fall all the time, but you will start to do it gracefully. It's a really weird thing. All right, now I'm going to stay. I'm out. And I'm super, super excited that I'm starting to see some progress. So I do know that I have a long way to go. I am not a physical fitness trainer. I'm not in the medical field. I know nothing about exercise. I can only tell you about my journey. And I want to make this video less than 10, 10 minutes because I don't want to mess with Ig TV and have to chop shit up. All right, I'm about to be out and run my errands. Namaste. And we're going to try it one more time. And we are... Whoa! And we're out. Have a blessed one.